There are more words in one cell in your body than you would find in 200 years of the Sunday New York Times. Wow. Where does that come from? Nature cannot produce information. It can produce patterns. I live in Houston. If I go down to Galveston and the beach and um, the sand is wet from overnight and there's ripple marks in the sand, it would be logical for me to say the waves made those ripple marks in the sand because nature can make patterns. But if I'm walking down the beach and in the wet sand, I see John loves Mary with a heart around it and an arrow through it, I wouldn't say, oh, the waves made that. Why? Because that's information. And without an exception, whenever we see information, whether it's a painting on a cave wall, whether it's a computer code, whether it's a novel, whenever we see information, there is always an intelligence behind it. Um, Stephen Meyer, with a PhD from Cambridge University on Origin of Life, uh, interviewed him um, uh, for my book, uh, Is God Real? And he looks at every alternative explanation, none of them hold water. The only explanation is there must be a creator who in a sense signed every cell in our body. He left behind instructions, written instructions, four-letter chemical alphabet on how to build you. Um,